Good morning, everybody. So, as some of you are watching this video right now, you have the same problem as I do. The horn will not stop going off. So, basically, my car got towed last night because it was just going off like crazy. It was too late. I just got back home from vac vacation. I didn't want to deal with it. As soon as I got home, I disconnected the two fuses. It's number 5 and 55 in the fuse box that's found in the glove box there. So, as I researched, I found out that the real problem... Well, as I turn the steering wheel, what it sounds like is there's a screw that connects the uh, airbag as you press it down to the actual wheel, making a connection that makes the horn go off. Whenever I turn the steering wheel, it sounds like something is loose and rattling around. So we're going to open it up, double check that that's the issue, tighten it up, and make sure that that's the fix of the source. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So first thing you want to do is disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Just go ahead and take out the trunk uh, cover there. This is where your battery is located. Disconnect the negative terminal so that way the airbag does not go off. And the next thing you need are two flathead screwdrivers to disconnect the spring on the steering wheel. First way you're going to disconnect the battery is uh, loosen that screw there. Once that's taken out, remove the whole terminal and move it away from any metal parts. That way it does not make a negative contact and activate your battery. You put everything where they belong and disconnect. It may spark a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. And we're good to go. All right, so the next thing you're going to want to do is there are going to be two holes on each side of the steering wheel right here. That's the right side, and on the left side, right over here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna insert, obviously, the longest uh, flathead screwdriver you have. You're gonna insert it going at a 90 degree angle this way, so that way it pulls, pushes down the spring. As you push it in, it's going to spring back. That's how you know you are engaging the spring. Basically, you're going to push down and it's going to pop open the airbag on the right side. Then with your other hand, you pull it forward. That way it disengages. Same thing for both sides. All right, so that took me 40 freaking minutes. <laughs> so the right side, at least in my wheel, was a lot more rustier, I guess. I don't know. It was just hard to push in. So basically what you do with the screwdriver, you insert it into the hole over here, as I showed you before on the steering wheel. You're going to push it and feel around for a clock spring. It may feel a little hard, but shove it in. Obviously, don't force it. It's going to push a spring back onto both sides. Once that happens, boom, spring will wide off. Now we can repair and see exactly what is wrong in here. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Now, just for safety reasons, I highly recommend taking off the airbag. So, what you're going to do is take a screwdriver, pry that open here, and pry this open here. So two like uh, prongs on both of these. Aha! Found the culprit. This screw was making contact metal metal, causing the airbag to go off. This screw should be in there, as this side is. So, to fix that problem, we're going to use a T20 Torx. Tighten it right in. Make sure everything is nice and tightened here while we're open, and hopefully. The problem will be solved once we put our fuses back in for the horn. Let's check it out. All right, now that everything is tightened up, did that one here, that one here. My best guess is that screw was rolling around. I heard it as I was turning, and it wasn't that bad until yesterday. I had to get the car towed because it was just nuts. Uh, so everything seems good, you know. The contact is pretty good. Uh, nothing else is loose. I uh, went ahead and uh, fixed this little clock spring here as well. Remember to plug the black in the black, the green in the green, and the airbag. You do not want that to go off. And we're gonna plug in the fuses and see how it works. Basically, what you do is you literally just push down once you put it into place. It snaps here. Make sure it's nice and snug, then boom, everything's good. All right, so once you have everything plugged in, make sure everything is nice and snug. I'm going to put this back into place here and literally just shove back and snap both sides into place. All right, so once after you finish putting in the steering wheel, it's going to click into place. Make sure everything is nice and snug. You do not want your airbag going off. Everything's nice and even. We're good. Go back here. Connect the negative back on. You're going to put the washer, you're going to put the whole unit on back first, actually. Then the washer, then the screw. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
Now, if you have done what I've done in order to prevent it from uh, honking all the freaking time, it disconnected the five and the 55 fuses from the glove box. Moment of truth, I'm gonna put them back in and see how they work. First thing you do is hold these white tabs. The fuse box will come right down. And your horn is fuse number five, which is over here. You see a couple of white numbers at the top. And fuse number 55, which is like this. You see there's a couple of dark numbers here. Number 55 will be this one in the middle. All right, so let's plug those right in. So far, so good. Number 55, it's gonna go right here. All right, let's turn the car on and see how she does. All right, so just turn the car on. Cool, everything works now. Moral of the story, if your car's horn will not stop going off, most likely there's a screw stuck in your, uh, that comes loose. It's common in these E46s, the screw randomly comes loose, starts hanging around here. I found mine in this area over here, so I turned the steering wheel, grabbed it in there and found it, uh, screwed it right back in. Uh, this is a very common problem with the E46s, but it's a very easy fix. The most hardest part is probably getting the screw in here and getting the springs out in order to take out the airbag. Once everything's done, it's good to go. So if you guys have any more questions, you can comment or send me a message. Feel free to follow us on Instagram. Have a good day. See you in the next video.